What is good? Fuck. Good. <laughs> Everyone. Shoobs here. <laughs> this is so scuffed. <laughs> Dexter, Dexter, French is the language of love. Oh, say it again, Dexter. My keyboard is thocky. Uh -huh. I just want to note that Zeal sent these clickies out early to me for a honest review, but I was not paid for the review. However, I am affiliated with them, so you can use the link in the description or discount code Shubes for a small discount and to help me out. What is good everyone, Shubes here. Today, we might have one of the craziest switches to come out basically ever. Now, this is something very unique and something I am extremely excited to showcase and review. The switches in question are these Zeal clickies. These right here are the very first MX switch on the market to be able to be a clicky switch, a highly tactile switch, as well as a smooth linear. All in one. That is actually freaking nuts. So the inspiration of these clickies was to create a truly unique clicky and tactile feel that feels similar to that of Alps. I just want to say outright right now that I personally do not have much experience with Alps. The only ones I've tried are dampened creams and salmons, so I will not be choosing to compare and speak on uh, on that regard too much. However, go check out the GigaChad Kairos Ran 22's review on these clickies since he is much more knowledgeable with Alps and older switches. And he goes much more deeply into the nitty gritty details of the switch that I never could because of my smooth brain. I'll leave a link down below for his video. Now to talk about these switches in general. Uh, these are Gatoron manufactured switches featuring the new cap design, but I have no idea what the housing material uh, really is. It will come in a 40 gram bottom out and 75 gram bottom out weight variants. The ones we got for review are the 75 gram ones. Uh, pray for my fingers because I have very weak fingers. I, I use 55 gram springs on my daily keyboards. Oh god. Finally, the moment we've all been waiting for, or probably you've been waiting for, uh, how the hell is this switch able to transform itself into three different forms? Let me demonstrate the best I can. My camera skills are not the best, so please uh, excuse my scuffness, but I'll try it. The switches come stock in clicky form, so no mods are needed there. However, to change to linear, tactile, or back to clicky from a different form, you'll need to open the switch. So to do this, I mean, we all know how to open a switch, but... So use a switch opener to open the switch. And here are the internals. Now, if you look right here, you see two click leaves. Okay, my fingers are like covering everything. You see two click leaves right here and here. This right here is the secondary click leaf. You're going to be moving this one to change it from either clicky or tactile form. So in order to change to the tactile mode, what we're going to do is, uh, let me take out the spring and the stem to demonstrate better. So if you look closely right here, let me just take off the secondary leaf for now. So if you see right here, you see this small horizontal plastic notch like right here see this little notch you simply take to, so this is changing it to tactile mode uh, so in order to change it to the tactile mode the base mode the click leaf the secondary click leaf is situated behind the notch we would move it forward across from the notch uh, so it's closer to the stem so this is so scuffed but I'm trying my best so you will take the little 
switch leaf and place it more forward in front of the notch. And then you put back the stem like so. And so it is situated something. So it should be like something like this. Then you gently close it back up. So in closing the switch, make sure the leaf is situated correctly because it does have a tendency to sort of lean back and make sure it doesn't get uh, in between right here and get crushed because that would be bad. You close it and you got yourself the tactile version. Now to transform this into the smooth linear, this is way way easier. You just open it up and take the switch secondary leaf out. You just take the leaf out, the secondary leaf and just yeet it and then you close it back up and you got yourself a linear switch. So since I will be reviewing such a weird switch, I will do a shorter sound test comparison between some clickies, tactiles, and linears while the clickies are in each different form. And then follow up with a short typing test in each form. <laughs> I opened and closed and changed these damn switches over 200 times for this segment, so y'all better watch it. <laughs> Uh, but please keep in mind that sound tests are not very accurate and everyone's setup is different. Also, the switches will be tested stock since depending on which form of the clickies you want, the lubing methods will vary, so uh, I didn't want to like stick to one type of lube, so we'll be doing it stock.
Okay, so my thoughts on these. In the clicky form, the tactile force for these is extremely satisfying and pretty damn high. And honestly, I gotta say these are by far my favorite sounding and feeling clicky switches that I've tried. Although I do not really enjoy clickies too much and I've only tried a handful, they got a fairly deeper and fuller sounding click from the others. And in short, I gotta say, they freaking bang and I would 100% use them for a clicky build pretty damn soon. Now with the clicky form being so good, it might be hard to follow up, but in the tactile form, these are by far one of the strongest tactiles in terms of the bump that I have ever tried. The bump is extremely heavy at the top and then there is a pretty smooth stroke to the bottom once you get past the initial force, but man, it is damn strong. <laughs> uh, it's probably the strongest feedback from a MX Tactile Switch that I think I've ever come across. And when I say this, I actually mean it. This is ahead of Zelios' Boba U4Ts and even something like Zeko's and other strong tactile boys by a good margin. This feedback is a bit overwhelming for me personally, but for those that want that hard sort of tactile experience, uh, this is definitely it. Finally, for the linear form, honestly, they are very smooth and they honestly feel pretty good. But I gotta say that these aren't the smoothest linears I've tried or the most unique linears at all. Uh, I think out of the three forms, the linear form was by far the weakest uh, form it had. But that is not to say that this form was bad. I think the Switch actually is quite a great and smooth linear. Just simply put, I didn't think it was anything really special like the other two was. So all in all, the Switch is crazy unique and overall just really great. However, does all the good things about the Switch really justify the cost? These Switches are fucking expensive. Right now with a slight pre-order discount, these still come out to be $1.30 a switch. A little cheaper with the additional discount if you use a code, like discount code SHOES. But overall, this is one of the most expensive stock switches out right now. I think that the decision of whether or not it's worth it is up to you. The really unique features of this switch, which is its high tactile mode and clicky mode are one of a kind. And you will not be really finding this kind of experience in any other Switch, at least currently. However, this sort of uniqueness doesn't automatically make this Switch better than others. It's simply a new experience. And if you aren't far into the hobby to really know what you like, I don't think this Switch will give you a good baseline of what any other Switch is. So I think that my take of whether or not you should get these is that if you really want to try something new and exciting at a more than average price, go for it. This is something special. However, if you are just a beginner or just fine with the switches that you currently own and don't really care about all the new shit, then hey, that's perfectly fine and you can skip on these. But all in all, looking at these clickies was one of the most fun I think I've ever had looking at a switch in a long, long time. And I'm really excited to see more innovative and crazy switches like these come out in the future. Honestly, these are pretty fucking cool.